now it's all, I've got all the particles removed from the bottom and I'm just going to mist it with the terrarium cleaner I have here, which is a product I use quite a bit on all my animal cages and reptiles and rodents, mammals alike. Um, it's called Wipeout. It is a disinfectant and what I like this product because it has a it has enzymes in it that kill a very broad spectrum of diseases and bacteria that can develop inside of a terrarium. So I'm just going to take a damp cloth here and wipe out this, the walls and the floor. Okay. And that should be just about sufficient to make, to keep her cage bacteria free. I, that's one reason I do like the cage carpet. It's very simple for me to clean the cage when I use the cage carpet. Now, after you wipe it down with the damp cloth, um, I like to use a dry cloth just to get the moisture off, make sure I don't leave any water spots and whatnot in there. Okay, now I'm ready to lay down the substrate. In most cases, you would want to use a, a soil-based substrate, such as a potting soil, a high-quality potting soil, mixed with uh, orchid bark. Um, that makes for a perfect substrate for turtles. Box turtles are burrowers, so you're going to want to use a deep substrate, a, at least three inches deep for burrowing purposes. Um, in her case, she's, like I said, she's special needs, so I'm using the cage carpet. She gets the eye infection. She gets really bad eye problems from dirt.